Oh, <laughs> well, that's in frame now. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to my blank journal collection video. It is part five. All right, so let's get started. Alrighty, so we're kind of in the um, hardcover era <laughs> of my shelves. If you're kind of wondering, we're on the third full shelf right now, and we have about two more full shelves to go. Alrighty, so this one has a lot of words. It says, be bold, dream big, express yourself, take risks, shine bright, laugh out loud, love freely, be kind, think positively, fall in love, let go, find your voice, work hard, smile, have an adventure, be brave, take a chance, make a difference, be kindly, relax, and do something new, share joy, and love your life. And then it says, be bold, dream big, and on the back it has the exact same thing. It's from the exact same uh, manufacturers as the last two. Um, I got this from my best friend David for my 22nd birthday. Um, and it probably came from Ross. Let's see, that little thing. All right, there we go. All right, this one is, I don't know if you can really tell in this light. Here, let me try and bring the light a little bit closer. All right, there. It's blue. <laughs> um, so it says, make today like amazing, fall in love, reach for the stars, create your own happiness, follow your heart, life is an adventure, always dream big, smile often, and believe you can do anything. And believe you can do anything is on the back, or on the cover. There you go. So this one I got from my parents, but I didn't write down when. So it has silver little bindings. Also has that same little like strange thing, so I guess it's the same brand. <laughs> so it probably came from Ross if I didn't say. This one is uh, it lights up. I don't know where the button is. Hold on, is it here? It looks like it would be here. <laughs> Alright, well. Well, it's supposed to light up. Um, probably killed the battery, honestly. <laughs> Alright, but it's an Xbox. Um, so, Halo, one of my favorite games. I like Minecraft as well, and then Gears of War. Um, so, my good friend Lacey gave me this. I think she went on a trip to Branson. Yeah, she went on a trip to Branson. Um, grabbed it for me. So I have like a little... Which is kind of funny because she's like a PlayStation owner. <laughs> All right, so we have uh, remember that you once dream of being where you are now. And so this one came from Ross. Let's see if anyone bought it for me. Oh, <laughs> okay. I was doing something in this one. I might have already shown it in a video or I'm just remembering a video um, that I filmed and then never posted because I did film a couple of the videos that are up on my channel now twice because uh, I like to ramble. <laughs> but anyway, um, on TikTok, you know when that uh, Josh Hutcherson like whistle edit was going on? I made that. <laughs> So this is what I did. Um, I made a little TikTok of it. It wasn't that great, but you know, I did it. <laughs> it's the same design, so it's probably from the same company. Here's the back side. That honestly kind of looks like Tom Holland, if we're being honest. All right, so another James Burke uh, collection journal. For, at Ross for $3.99. So Dreams and Schemes, this one cracked me up when I found it. Um, has a little grid in the cover, which was cool. And then like, first you dream it, then you do it. So I like that. Um, and also, you know, I'm, I'm a little nefarious. I like scheming and it has this cute little tassel thing. All right, so now we're kind of out of the hardcover uh, section of my journaling and we're going into the travel journals. Um, and kind of the reasoning for the travel journal side is, let me move it around, is one of the ones I showed you in part one um, that I'm taking to Egypt that looks similar to this one. So they kind of like, you know, bled through um, but it says follow your path. This one also came from Ross as bronze or like rose gold. Um, 
binding. So my family gave it to me for Christmas. I didn't write down when though. It has a little arrow, you know, like follow your little path on your arrow. So um, I will write in it when I'm off traveling, uh, probably like traveling outside the US since it has a world map. This one, I'm pretty sure also came from Ross. It says oh, adventures out there, it has a little compass. I believe I kind of wrote down like places I wanted to go. Yeah, so Tokyo notes, samurai walks. Um, so this is kind of what it looks like. I believe it came from Ross and I just took the sticker off. Let's see, it's the same company as the other ones. Um, so Ross must have like had that brand for a while and I just kept picking them up. All right, this one is breaking the Ross pattern and it is from Michaels. So it says never stop exploring adventure awaits. So this one I'll probably use inside the US. Um, like round mountainy foresty areas. So I must have picked it up by myself because I don't have written down who gave it to me. If someone did give it to me, um, let me know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not perfect at like writing down who gave it to me. This one's actually one of my newest journals. Um, I got it at Barnes and Noble. It was on sale. Uh, I tried to just take the sticker off. This is where it came from. This is what the pages look like. I had a moment of weakness <laughs> and I bought it. All right, let's try and chip away at this stack over here. I'm trying to like, keep them in order. So, all right, this one I have been waiting. So dream, no small dreams. This one came from Target a long time ago um, as gold binding. And I've just been hanging on to it, so it's green inspired. Um, I've just been hanging on to it for like, it kind of gives like summer trip vibes, like summery trip vibes. So like really what I would love to hear, really what I would love, love, love to write this journal with is like a Camp NaNoWriMo for July trip, like writing trip, like that would be really cool. It would it probably um, would get devoured. <laughs> if I'm honest, because I do write a lot. Um, but yeah, that would be super cool. This one I bought on a writing trip, a little writing retreat that I took in 2020. So this was actually for Camp NaNoWriMo, um, but I did kind of like more Preptober stuff. Um, so that's like, no, or, sorry, I said Camp NaNoWriMo, I meant NaNoWriMo in November. Um, I found this at Walmart and actually like currently my Walmart has it, so it's pin gear. Um, Currently, my Walmart has it for like super cheap. I think like under $2. Um, but yeah, so I went to Jasper, Texas. Or Jasper, Texas is where the Walmart was. The tr uh, My cabin was elsewhere. So, but yeah, I found it. And at that time it was not in my Walmart. And I was like, whoa, I need to get this. <laughs> I just love the tree vibes. I want to live out in the forest, so. All right, this one came from Barnes and Noble. Um, so it says, it doesn't have to look like anyone else's magic, she says, it just has to look like mine. I wish they wrote down, like, um, where that quote came from. Wait. Okay, I thought I would say that. Um, like where it, where it came from, but it did not. So this is the, uh, this is the brand and stuff like that, but it came from Barnes & Noble. Again, I paid a little bit more than I would typically, but like, it just is night sky. It looks so cute. Wah! This one came from Tuesday morning before they left <laughs> uh, the state that I'm in. So um, it has a little deer. So I believe someone gave this to me. Oh, please open. Yeah, all right, I got it from um, Lacey, my friend, uh, for Christmas. All right, and then this one, I believe was Impulse Buy. Um, okay, I say Impulse Buy. I think I actually struggled on it. I, mm, did I get it from Ross? So this is what it is, OC, um, S Designs. I either got it from Ross or Tuesday morning is what I'm thinking of. And I think I like walked around, I'm thinking Tuesday morning. I walked around with it for a bit. Um, I think it was kind of cheap, but it's like this, oh, there's a moth. All right, sorry about that. I have my windows open. 
<laughs> All right, so uh, this is the start of something beautiful. <laughs> that moth was not beautiful. That was a jump scare. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so uh, you were in the light of the world. A little forest vibes again. Um, this one came from Ollie's. It was super cheap. Three dollars. So a little green. So probably like, you know, little road trip uh, journals. That's what I would use those for. Really should just flip this stack over because that's the order that I have them in. All right, this one came from Target. Um, so it says step out, has a little forest stub. It's actually part of a like three set. Um, I call them sister journals. I've already written in one of them. Um, so that's what it looks like. Let's see. Oh. I got it from my friend Lacey for our one year anniversary. All right, so it's green inspired. All right, and then this is the sister journal to that last one. So trust the journey and like force again, I believe. <laughs> okay, so she gave it to me um, like two months afterwards to complete the trio. Um, Let's see, green inspired. So let me go get the one that I've already written in. Okay, so this is the one that I've actually already written in. La -da -da. Let's see, it's journal 94 Cloudburst. I went to the Coast of Spring or Springs, Colorado in that journal. And um, so she gave me this one and this one. And then a couple months later gave me this one to just like complete the little trio. Which I do like it. If um, they have like sister journals, then um, I typically like to get all of them. <laughs> I like the sets. Okay, so this one is actually one of my newer journals. Um, my brother went to Spain and brought back this journal for me. So it has blank pages. So yeah, so he got it at... Um, I'm gonna butcher it. Salamonica? Yeah, that place in Spain. It's been a long day already. <laughs> like I said, I'm trying to film in bulk. All right, same place. Uh, that's what it looks like. Um, again, blank pages. So I'm kind of debating on if like I want to go to Spain and go here <laughs> and then write in these journals or like just, I don't know. If I ever go to Spain writing these journals. All right. Scoot out of the way. <laughs> All right. So this is a, a guided travel journal that my friend Kim gave me. Uh, so, like, obviously it's to be used in the, um, the United States. It has, like, all these cute little things. Um... It's kind of nice that it has like, you know, packing checklists and stuff, like here, like a little packing checklist. So, um, whenever I go to a state that I've never gone to before, I'll probably use this and it would be really awesome. All right. We are on the last travel journal, which is this Alaska journal. So someone had gone to Alaska and then brought it back. This was pretty cool. This was a, um... Ooh, a tribe, a native tribe to Alaska, I think. And so, little stickers that they brought back. Um, I've always wanted to go to Alaska, and so uh, this is like where it is. Or the, <laughs> the uh, oh my gosh, the company that made it. Um, <laughs> I'm filming this in bulk, so <laughs> it's getting pretty tired, yeah. So let's see, um, okay, yeah, so that's like the back of that other sticker if you want to like sit there and read it. Um, but I have always wanted to go to Alaska, so whenever I go to visit Alaska, I will 100% write in this journal. So, there we are. Alrighty, and that concludes the travel journals of uh, my blank journal collection, and also part four? Ooh, part five. Part five of the blank journal collection. We are almost done. Um, we have the rest of the third shelf, and then we have um, two more shelves after that. All right, so as I'm 
do my outro, I will have give you guys a little sneak peek of me like making the <laughs> making the little thumbnail. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video, and remember to always find an excuse to write, such as traveling, so then you can fill up empty blank journals. <laughs> Alrighty, bye. Stay safe out there.